Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about customized genome with custom themes. How to make genome beautiful? Myself, Mohammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, for this particular video. I'm going to use Ubuntu 22.10 because it also comes with Genome Desktop environment. And good news is, with Ubuntu 22.10, we get the latest version of Genome as Genome 43. So before we download and install some of the themes, there are some things that we need to do. And some of them are related to update and update, and we need to download some utilities as well. So first of all, I'll open my terminal, and in that I'll write sudo space apt space update so that we can update all those packages that needs an update it will take a very short time so be patient after this step we'll see if there are any packages that need an upgrade so here we have three packages that need an upgrade so we'll upgrade them so i'll write here sudo space apt space upgrade and i'll just hit enter this will again take a little bit of time press y hit enter and you are good to go we are done with the update and upgrade and now it's time to install some of the softwares and utilities. First one is genome tweaks. So I'll write here sudo space apt space install space genome hyphen tweaks and hit enter. Well this small utility will help you to customize your genome desktop environment in a lot of aspects. After that I'll install another utility and then I'll show you both of them. And this time I'm going to install Genome Shell Extension Manager. Command for that is sudo apt space install space genome hyphen shell hyphen extension hyphen manager and hit enter. Press Y, hit enter and you are good to go. We are done with the installation of our extension manager as well. And now I look for tweaks. Here it is. I'll just open that one. And now I show to you that what do we get with this particular utility. So here we have different sections like appearance, fonts, keyboard and mouse and many more. So basically, I'll download some of the themes to change my genome experience and to install those themes or you can say to apply those themes onto my genome desktop environment, we have to use this particular section. So this is where genome tweaks will help us. After that, let's open our extension manager. I'll just open this one and this particular utility will help me to download and install some of the extensions for the customization of my genome. So I'll just close this one as well. And now it's time to open our Mozilla Firefox. Because from Mozilla Firefox, we'll be downloading some third party themes for the customization. So straight away, let's head to Genome Look website. So I'll just write here Genome space look, hit enter. And from there, let's search for a particular theme. I'll click on the official website link. And from here, if you see, we have different categories. For example, we have cursors, docs, we have full icon themes. Down here, we have shell themes, GTK4 themes, and we even have wallpapers. So the theme that I'm looking for is material. So I'll just search for material. And here we have material GTK themes. I'll just click on this one. It will give us several options to download this particular theme. Either you can download it from its GitHub repository, you can click on this download button or you can click on this files button and it will give you several files to download. Let me maximize my Mozilla Firefox and here we have download button. I'll just click on this one and from here just click on this download button again. We are done with its download and now it's time to download our icons. So this time I look for desert dark icons. Here it is. I'll just click on this one. And again, we'll download this particular file as well. I'll click on this files link and now I'll click on this download icon. And we are done with the download of our themes and icon. Let the download process for our icon get complete. And then we'll extract both of our icons and themes. And then we'll implement both of these onto our genome. So we are almost done in here. And let's open our files. And after that, we'll head to our downloads directory. So here you can see we have both of these available. I'll right click here and I'll click on extract. I'll do the same for my desert dark icons. I'll right click here, I'll click on extract and we are good to go. Now, before we move ahead, I'll right click on the material deep ocean 
I'll click on copy, I'll head to my home's directory and if you click on this menu button, from here click on show hidden files. It will also show you the hidden files and directories. Now we need to create a directory. This time right click here and click on new folder and I'll write here dot themes. Hit enter and I'll open this folder and I'll paste the folder that I have copied from my downloads directory. So we are done with the addition of our theme for our genome and now we are left with icon. So head back to your downloads directory and it is still extracting so let's wait for the extraction process to get complete and then again we'll copy this folder and we'll go back to our home directory to paste it. We are done here with the extraction and now I'll right click on it, click on copy, let's head to our home directory and again we have to create another directory and name of that directory will be dot icons. Hit enter. Let's open this folder and paste the dark icon folders in here. Well, basically, we do not have any installation file for both of these icons and themes. And that is why we have to create dot icons and dot themes folders on our own. And if there were installation files, these folders would have been there on their own. So that is why we had to create these two folders. So we are done with the extraction and placement of both of these folders. And now it's time to open our genome tweaks. So I'll just search for tweaks. Here it is. I'll just open this one and go to your appearance section. And here you can see in front of shell, we have this icon. It means we cannot use third party themes at this moment. For that purpose, shell extension manager will help us. So I'll just search for extension manager. Here it is. From here, we'll install an extension into our Ubuntu so that we can use third party theme and that is user theme. So make sure to install into your system and you'll be able to use any third party extension into your Ubuntu for your genome customization. So we are good to go here and now we need to reopen our genome tweaks so that it can pick up all the themes and icons for our system. So here it is. Let's go to your appearance and now you can see we do not have that icon anymore. Let's go to your legacy application and here we have material deep ocean. I'll just click on it and we have successfully changed the themes. Let's go to our icons and here we have a lot of them available. If you remember, we downloaded desert. You can go with anyone as per your liking. I'll go with DMZ white. I'll do the same for my shell. Here I have material deep ocean available. I'll just click on it and our shell has been changed as well. Now we are left with cursor and we also need to change our fonts. So for that purpose, I'll download cursors from this same website. So I'll just search for Mac OS Bixer and here we have icons. So I'll just click on it and let's download this file. And again to download this file, you have several options. I'll again follow the simplest of them all and that is go to files and click on this download button. After that, click on this download button once more and it will download this cursor for you. We are done with the download. Now let's go back to your downloads directory. And from here, I'll right click on my Mac OS cursor. I'll extract it in here. I'll copy this particular folder, go back to home directory and again, go to your icons folder, paste the folder that you have just copied. And now it's time to open our genome tweaks one more time. So for that purpose, we have to reload it or reopen it. So I'll just do the same in here. Here it is. And from here, you can select the one as per your liking. Well, you might not see a lot of difference in here, but on the loading screen, you will see these kind of icons. So this was all about the cursor and now it's time to download fonts for our genome. So for that purpose, I'll download SF or you can say San Francisco fonts. So I'll write here SF fonts GitHub. It will give us the link for the GitHub repository. And here it says the entire collection of San Francisco Pro fonts. I'll just click on the first link and it will open a GitHub repository for me. There are a lot of available, but I'll make sure to download the regular one, which is right here. I'll click on this one and from here, I'll click on this download button and this will download fonts for my system. And here you can see the download process has just started. After that, we have to go to our downloads directory and we have to see our fonts, which is right here. Just double click on it. It will open with the font application into your system. From here, click on this install button and our fonts will be installed into our Ubuntu. It will take one to two minutes. Our fonts have been installed successfully and now it's time to open our genome tweaks one more time. Well, genome tweaks need to be reopened every time because your changes will not take place 
if you do not reopen your tweaks again and again because it needs to load up thing and now if you go to your font section and go to your interface text and click on this list here i'll search for sf and here you can see i have different options available that i can go with i'll go with the first one that says sf pro display regular i'll just click on it and i'll click on select and here you can see the font for my system have been changed successfully so we are done with almost everything that was need to be done from the genome tweak tool so i'll just close this one and now it's time to open our genome extension shell manager so i'll close my files as well from here so here i look for extensions into my system here it is i'll open my extension manager and the first extension that i'm going to download and install into my system is dash to doc i'll write here dash to doc and let's see what do we get so here it is and now you can see our doc is at the bottom and this is how it looks like and now it is more sophisticated to the eyes as well and after that there is one more that i'm going to install and that is blur my shell Here it is I'll just install this one and now you can see a top bar is changed so this was all about the extensions there are many others that you can download and install but for the moment I'm okay with all of them I'll just close this one and there is one more thing that we need to download after that we'll change our background so I'll head to my browser and I'll just paste the link you can copy that link from the description of this video and after that I'll download some sources I'm doing this to have a small utility or you can say a small widget on to my desktop. I'll show to you what it is basically. So first of all, let's download these resources. I'll just click on this download button and it is 2.4 megabyte in size so it will not take a lot of time. So let's wait for it and along with that let's open our files. So I'll just search for files. Here it is. I'll just open that one. Let's go to our downloads and here we have our resources. Let's extract it in here. I'll just open that one. And here if you see we have different files I'll right click here and click on open in terminal and from here I'll install both of these files so for that purpose I'll write here sudo space dpkg space hyphen i and after that name of the first file that start with conky I'll hit enter I'll install this one and after that let's install the second one so I'll write here sudo space dpkg space hyphen i space real and hit enter We are done with both of these and let's clear our terminal and let's move ahead. And now I'll just close this one and now let's see if Conky is installed into our system or not. Here it is. Yes, we are done with the Conky installation. Now, what we need to do? I'll just close this one first. Here we have a utility or you can say a widget. I'll just copy this one. Let's go to home directory. And here we have a new folder with the name of .conky. I'll just open that one and I'll paste the widget in here. And now let's open our Conky manager. I'll just open that one. And if you scroll down here you see we have the widget that we added. I'll just select this one and this widget have been added. Now if I close this one, let's close this one as well. Let's minimize this one and here you can see we have a new widget on to our desktop. And at the end we are left with one last thing and that is we need to change our background. So for that let's go back to your browser and this time what we need to do We need to search for genome wall papers and hit enter. Go to any website at first your liking. I'll go to the GitHub. Scroll down. There are many other resources we have from Genome Look as well. I'll just click on that one as well and let's see what do we get with both of these links. So here we have different one available. You can download any one as per your liking. I'll go with this one. So I'll just click on this one. From here, I'll click on files and let's download it simply. So let's click on this download button and we are good to go. After that what we need to do we need to go to the display setting or you can go to the general setting of your system and from there we'll change the background. So here the installation process has just completed and now I'll right click onto my desktop and I'll click on change background. Here you will not see the image that we have just downloaded in this section. So for that click on add pictures, go to your downloads directory from here. and click on your image that you have downloaded and here it is i'll just click on it and now this is how it looks like if i press my super key here it is this is how it looks like click on your activities or whatever this look much more symmetrical over the theme that we have applied onto our system if i go to my quick menu and you can see we have symmetry between our icons our menu and our background at the end we are left with one last thing and that is we need to make sure that these changes get applied 
home to our system how we can do that so for that purpose we have to log it back into our system and all the changes will take place permanently and i'll also show you that how our system looked like on to the lock screen here it is and this is how our system looks like on the lock screen and that brings me to the end of this video i hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this video and you must have learned a lot of new things about the customization of your genome desktop and if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you have anything to ask or if you want to suggest me something please leave a comment below i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care